So you've gone low carb, you decided to make the switch, cut out the carbs and tame that type one. And now you're asking yourself, okay, now that I'm cutting the carbs down to 30 grams a day, what kind of carbs should I be having? Well, this is actually very important because 30 grams of bread is actually much different than 30 grams from salads, from vegetables, and so on. The difference comes between discerning fat-acting carbs from slow-acting carbs. Fat-acting carbs include all the high-carb junk that you're not supposed to be having. That would include bread, potatoes, pasta, sweets. All of these starches, sugars, and grains that quickly turn to sugar in the body and thus act very fast. These are going to spike your blood sugar, even if you have a smaller amount, because it turns into sugar so quickly in your body. Instead, you want to keep it low carb, easier and more effectively, with slower acting carbs. Now these slower acting carbs include fibrous vegetables, leafy greens like spinach, lettuce, and cabbage, and other fibrous vegetables such as Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, and so on. And you can even include some fruits in there like avocados and blueberries. Typically, if a plant has a very low amount of carbohydrates and a decent amount of fiber, it's probably a slow-acting carbohydrate. Um, but just to be sure, I'll make a list or link one below this video just so you can check that and make sure that whatever your carb you're going for is slow-acting food. Now, why is it that you want to stick with slow-acting carbs? Well, just like we said about fat-acting carbs spiking your blood sugar, slow-acting carbs are not going to spike it as much, even if they're the same amount of carbs, it's not going to make your blood sugar rise as fast because of the fiber. For example, if you're deciding between what to eat in a day and your limit is 30 grams, you could have two pieces of bread and be good, or you could have some salad, some asparagus, and what have you. The difference between 15 grams of bread and let's say 15 grams from a salad, is that that 15 grams of bread is going to make your blood sugar spike real fast, while that 15 grams of the salad is going to make it go a lot slower. And this is actually critical, especially if you're using our insulin in order to maintain normal blood sugars, because you can't maintain normal blood sugars if your blood sugar is spiking all the time. So keep that in mind. When, you, when it comes to carbohydrates, you want to stick to not just lower carbohydrates, but slower carbohydrates. Those fibrous vegetables, the berries, the avocados, not the potatoes, not the bread, not the rice, not the pasta, and certainly not the sweets. Keep that in mind. Be sure to choose slow over fast, and that way it can help you tame that type 1.